So welcome to another tech day on this channel. So today we're talking about this, the iPhone. And yeah, I know some of you guys are gonna roll your eyes at another iPhone tech video, but this is a question that I get asked a lot. But you know what, first let's do a quick search to see if it's been done before. Nope. Yeah, so here are my top six tips to make better iPhone videos. Let's just roll the intro. It really should be just five tips. I mean, the first main tip, don't shoot it portrait, shoot it in landscape. It's gonna look so much better when you put it on a TV or watch it in your computer or something like that. It's just, but you know, yeah. So the iPhone has HD and 4K quality and that's not the tip at all. I mean, the, the tip is I'm clearly looking at myself in my phone when I should be looking at the camera because this is a weird disconnect from the audience and your audience is there. So my tip is I put a sticker with an arrow pointing to the camera so that I'm always looking at my audience. I know that that's where my audience is. So when you want to use photos in your videos, one really cool tip is to take panoramic shots because then you can zoom in and you can pan and you can make the picture really come alive. So another cool tip is playing with the auto exposure and auto focus. I'm sure that a lot of you guys know that you can, you know, you can click on whatever object is in your phone and you can hold your finger down so that you can automatically adjust the exposure. And then you can also lock the focus. If you hold down your finger on your face until it does the auto lock, then you know that you're going to be in focus and the exposure is gonna be adjusted for you. So that way, if you do go off and you come back, it's gonna work. It's gonna be nice. So the next tip is shooting in that cinematic feel, which is like 120 frames per second at 1080 HD. But for that, I'm gonna have to take you into the city. So let's go. all shot on the iPhone, slow motion, HD. It works really well, especially if you're in a hurry when you're traveling. But then on the flip side, it's really cool if you use a time lapse and you walk. Try to hold it as steady as possible. And then another tip is to turn the grid on and try to keep a certain spot in the crosshairs as you're walking. I'm kind of rushing through this to show you what I mean, but you should try it because it's really cool. So there you go, I just wanted to make a quick Tuesday video. I'm sure that most of you guys watching probably know these tips anyways, but maybe one of those tips you might not have known. Next week I'll get into editing with the iPhone on iMovie. And that's all, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. If you have like a friend or grandma or someone that needs to shoot with these, just, yeah. If this helps out, whatever. So hit the subscribe button and click that little bell right next to it. And check out this video, it needs a lot more attention.